Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about information retrieval using python so what we'll be doing is we will be extracting facts by extracting information with the help of nlp okay and we will be using a uh, textc uh, extraction uh, algorithm so uh, we'll be using textc library and uh, it contains lot of data extraction algorithms so we will be using that okay so let's first start with the installation first i'll be installing uh, spacey okay your uh, minus u stands for upgrade okay so it always uh, installs the upgraded version of spacey okay you can use pip3 or pip okay anyone uh, will be okay then we'll be uh, downloading our uh, encode web sm model okay so your uh, en stands for uh, english core stands for the model can perform all the core activities like uh, parsing uh, then lemmatization or you know, all the major core activities there is an another version also i think it is uh, deep in which it is specifically uh, uh, focused on few of the activities okay and core covers all the activity then we have web okay uh, web stands for because it has been trained on the data set available from web okay then the another version is news also okay and sm stands for small so you can have small medium large so the first letter stands for language the second is the functionality which can be done by the model third is on what data source it was trained whether it was news or web and the last one is the model size uh, is it sm medium or large okay then your minus m stands for uh, uh, like how it works is minus m uh, it indicates that these packages will run as a script okay they will they will be these modules will run as a script then uh, we'll be using uh, installing text ac now we are done with the installation part now for data source i have straight away installed wikipedia okay and uh, we'll be extracting data from wikipedia first of all we will be uh, using wikipedia's data set and then we'll be extracting information from those wikipedia wikipedia's output okay now here i've imported spacey wikipedia i've loaded my model and my subject here is anand mahendra okay now what it did was uh, now let's say if you want to extract things about anand mahendra okay so what we can think of in general nlp is uh, maybe we can um, extract the entities okay the different noun phrases okay we can extract the noun phrases we can extract different entities and then later on we can apply some filter and think uh, what is uh, an important information for us okay so uh, let's go in a very layman way first and then later on we'll be seeing how we can use textc and do it okay so right now i just passed my subject uh, to the wikipedia package it gave me many results okay i i'm here picking just one of the result okay uh, it returned me at least 10 different uh, wiki results out of which i am picking just one and this is the content out of that i have created a spacey document object and here i am printing the entities okay now here these entities cannot be treated as a information okay if you see none of them is really actually information now here this information is scattered like uh, anuradha verb so maybe anuradha might be uh, anand mahendra sir's wife or daughter maybe or sister then uh, okay similarly what we can try to do is we can also see extracting noun phrases okay e uh, even that is one thing and uh, we can see how it appears but I'll say a more better way is we use data extraction algorithms of text AC and see what we get as results. Now, now the similar thing 
we did it uh, with TextDC. Okay, here I'm using the small module Anand Mahindra. I, I did my search. There, here I'm printing the Wikipedia page. And then after this, I've been passing these words to my TextDC semi structured statement algorithm. Okay, here I, ha I have broken down my subject into two sub words Anand and Mahindra. Okay. I'm using the Q as B have write talk and talk about. Now what what Q is Q actually uh, let's think of it in this ways. First of all, let's see the uh, uh, wiki page result which we got of Anand Mahindra sir. So this is what we got. Okay. Now if I say uh, facts, okay. So I can say that okay fine. Uh, Anand uh, is an advocate of study of humanities. So he is an advocate of study of humanities. Okay. Now your this is a fact. Okay, this, is, this can be treated as information. Now, once we have a lot of information, we can add the verb Q on it and segregate it. Now here the Q will be a verb lemma. Okay. Now your is will be my Q. Okay, so it will be Anand is an advocate of study of humanities or let's say Anand married Anuradha. So Anuradha is an information and it is as being associated with Anand via the Q of married or is or have and in this way. Okay, so this is uh, okay. Now I have uh, maintained your different cues in this list is have write talk talk about and then I mean I, I will be extracting my all the facts and here I'm printing the entities the queue and the fact okay now this is my final result here I have my entity Mahindra and Anand and then here I have the queue is so Anand is an Indian billionaire businessman Anand is the grandson of Jagdish Chandra Mahindra, is a co-founder of Mahindra and Mahindra. Now this is some wrong result, okay, was a wrong result, so was it, was it an another Q, okay, this is also a wrong result. Then here we can see has, has two, sis, two sisters Anuja, Sharma and Radhika Nath, okay. So in this way we are getting a fact, okay, and we have a Q which tells it, it, it highlights the verb lemma associated with that fact. So Anand has two sisters. Anand is an Indian billionaire businessman. Okay. In this way. Then there are some other parameters also which you can pass to semi-structured statements function and play with it. And uh, there are some other algorithms also. So this is not just one. There are various functions uh, in that package and uh, you can use a lot of functions and play with the parameters and get the best results for you. But this is much advanced than just extracting the noun phrases or extracting the predicate and just telling that that is my fact. This is much and next stage level when it comes to fact extractions or information extraction when compared to any of the subject. Okay. So that's it with this guys. If you find something useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends check the other videos if you want to uh, stay connected with a whatsapp community there's a link in the description you can click on the link and uh, uh, be a part of the whatsapp group then uh, do give a star on my github and uh, yeah stay tuned to as for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out